So here what we have today is I have a 3D printed mold of a chess piece that I am uh, going to make a casting of and uh, I'm going to be using Dragon Skin 30 rubber to make that chess piece. Um, so you can see in the molds that I uh, designed here, I have one half of the chess piece removed from each of the mold pieces. And then on each piece, I have mating parts. You can see that I have pegs on this side that line up with holes on this side. It's really important that when you uh, design a two-piece mold like this, that you have it uh, designed in such a way that they're going to make sure that you are able to get them perfectly aligned so that the two halves match up. So I'm going to take a minute and put these together. And when you put uh, two pieces of 3D printed material together and you're gonna be filling it with liquid, it's important that you seal it as well. So I am going to cut the video here for just a second, put these together, and I'm going to line the uh, outside edge of it with hot glue to keep, make sure that it doesn't all leak out while it is solidifying. All right, so I have my mold ready to go. I have it all clamped together. And instead of hot glue, I actually um, use some modeling clay to make like a rim around uh, where the uh, cavity is gonna be so that nothing can get out. And then I clamped it together so that it compressed all of that clay. Um, hot glue would work just as well. Uh, whatever you happen to have access to at the time to seal it should be just fine. So um, I'm, I now uh, mixed up part A and part B of Dragon Skin 30, and I'm going to measure them out into these Dixie, Dixie cups here, and I have a volume mark on each one of these, so I'm going to slowly fill up just to that point. And I'm going to do my best to not make a mess with it. And now I'm going to move on to part B and do the same thing. And now I'm going to take those two parts and mix them together. Once this is mixed thoroughly, then it's time to fill up the mold. I'm interested to see how this turns out. I haven't used Dragon Skin 30 in this capacity before. Um, I'm hoping that it gets to all points in the mold, but it's possible that with some of the details in the mold that I designed that we're going to end up with some uh, air pockets. So I'm going to do my best to try to slowly fill up from the bottom and not trap air down there. You can see the way that I designed my mold. I have a funnel shape up at the top where I'm pouring into. That's called the sprue hole. And you wanna make sure that you have a large enough sprue hole there and a large enough funnel shape that you can allow some excess material to sit there so that as this starts to settle and air works its way back up through the mold, there is a reservoir of material still there that can fill in that gap that hopefully works its way up. So I'm hoping that after we see, uh, or after we let this set for long enough, you'll see actually a depression 
in the uh, plastic, or in this case, the rubber there, that would show that uh, some air worked its way out of there. And it's totally possible that there's not any air pockets in it, but now I can see one air bubble starting to come up just a little bit. I don't know if it picks up in the camera here, but there is a little air bubble uh, starting to show up there. And when that air comes up, you should see that the level of uh, rubber in the reservoir actually goes down. So now again, Dragon Skin 30 has a uh, cure time of 16 hours. So we're gonna let this set overnight before we uh, open it back up and see what we got. All right, so my mold uh, that has a uh, chess piece design in it and is poured and filled with Dragon Skin 30 has now sat over the weekend, which is uh, way longer than the 16 hours that are required. So we're going to open this up now. So I'm going to just start by removing these clamps. You can see that the uh, the rubber did not sink down in, so um, my uh, gasket that I made out of uh, modeling clay seems to have worked really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and pull this open. Oops. And as you can hear, it kind of flew apart when I did that. But right here is my chest piece, and I should be able to peel this right out. So there is my Dragon Skin 30 chess piece that I designed and used a 3D printer to make the two halves of a mold. Um, now my next step would be to trim away the flashing. So I would take a knife right here where my fingernail is and cut that off and trim away any of this excess. And I do see one little mistake in, in my mold here. Um, when I made the gasket out of modeling clay, it looks like I got a little bit too close to the cavity and I actually have uh, encapsulated or entrapped uh, some of the modeling clay inside of my chess piece. So I would probably want to re-pour this um, to fix that if this were a piece that I were trying to use for something later. But overall, I think this came out really well and I think this is a good solution for using Dragon Skin 30 with a 3D printed mold.